constantly keeps you on that borderline of what you can and cannot do. And that challenge is what makes your brain better at being able to separate out speech from background noise. Aloma here to guide you through today's speech and noise training. Listen for the speech and background noise and indicate if you understood by pressing yes or no. Ready to begin? I'm ready. Here we go. Practice good posture to avoid back and neck pain. Repeat what you heard aloud or silently to reinforce your understanding. Focus on grasping the overall message, even if you don't catch every word. So I'm going to hit confirm here. Practice good posture to avoid back and neck pain. Is this what I heard? I do believe that this is what I heard, although maybe it wasn't. Let me, I'm going to go back and listen to it again. So I'm going to click on no, and then I'm going to replay it just to make sure. Practice good posture to avoid back and neck pain. And yes, I can can confirm now that that is what I heard. So I'm not going to replay it again. I'm going to go ahead and hit next up. Now the important thing here is that if you indicate that you did not hear it, what's going to do is it's going to make the next one easier, meaning that the background noise is going to drop lower and the speech is going to be separated from it more. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next up here. Wear a wide brimmed hat for added sun protection. Wear a wide brimmed hat for added sun protection. Let's see if I was right. Wear a wide brimmed hat for added sun protection. So that is what I heard. I will click yes. That means the next one is going to get tougher and it's going to keep doing that. If you do better on this, it gets harder. If you do worse on it, meaning you're not able to hear and understand what was being said, it gets easier.